my jimmies, yeah, back with another. Coming to your lap, yeah, straight from the gutter. Don't know me, well, I came from my mother. Looking so sweet, yeah, like another butter. Switching up flows, oh yeah, here I go. Only did these bars for my new intro. No, but seriously, hope you guys enjoyed this video. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, it's Kaza, and we're back with another one. Today we are going to be reacting to Petty by Snow the Product. Now this has been requested quite a few times, so I figured why not, let's just get this one done. Um, if I'm going to be honest, I have been kind of waiting for Snow to release a new track, because she was doing like one every month uh, last year, I think, or, or something like that. It was, you know, they weren't too separated apart um, from each other, so I was kind of just hoping she was going to you know, release a new song, and then I would hop on that one, but, uh, hasn't been looking like it, so I'm just gonna catch up with all the requests I have of Snow until the, she does drop a new video, but without any more talking, let's just get right into this and, uh, see what Snow's got cooking. Yo, your friends are here. Wait, who's Putty's niece right now? Juju. That was a little awkward. I'm just gonna say that right now. Like, they said hey to the one person, then the other person came out, and they were just kind of like all awkward. Toward I don't know. That was just kind of like an awkward feeling right there. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And also that door, holy shit, that scared me. Like that of uh, the sound of the door, bro. That shit was heavy as fuck and loud. I. I wasn't expecting a noise like that, and then it just hit, and I was like, oh, shit, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't even know. That door was loud. Um, but anyway, back into this. Like I said, it was just an awkward-ass situation to me. Like, it made me feel awkward. I don't know. Like, just look at all the stairs, and she's like... are you what? Bitch, we can get petty. Tell me if you're ready. I was playing nice. Some shit except businesses uh, Trying to bring us down so they bring up us rich bitches uh, Talking out that neck won't get you far But if this is Cause if that affect my pockets It's gonna hit different Ooh, ooh, okay, okay So basically right they're just saying How come it's always the broke bitches You know, the people not doing shit with their lives That are always trying to bring up shit With, you know, the people actually working in their life The people actually getting money You know, they always try and start drama Start problems with them Um... And I, I don't know, I kind of like how Snow was like, you know, if it if it doesn't affect anything, fuck it, you know, but if it affects my pockets, then we're going to have a problem and it's going to hit different, you know, she's like, I'm all about that shit. So like, you better not mess with, <laughs> you better not mess with my pockets, you know, I like that. I like that. Um, I'm kind of confused. Like, I mean, it must just be like the title of the song, some petty ass drama happening right here. But, uh. I'm pretty sure the beginning, the two who started pushing each other are the first two that really said hi to each other, if I remember that correctly. I don't know, that was a little... If anything, I didn't expect a fight to happen with them two. I was expecting the second girl that came out of the house, you know, to maybe fight with one of them, but not, not the first one, because she seemed like the friendliest with them. I don't know, but I'm definitely liking this, and uh, I think it was hilarious how she had the mom or the grandma. I, I want to say it's mom. Um, but had the mom come down and was like, nah, y'all get the fuck outside. Y'all aren't yelling in my house. <laughs> Don't get you far, but if this is Lots of that affect my pockets, it's gon' hit different Not to get explicit, and with Twitter dissing You gon' have to speak up when you talk, I'm here to listen If you pop Ooh, I like that. Ain't with Twitter dissing If you have something to say, you better speak up, cause I'm here to listen I like that bar. I like that bar a lot. You know, a lot of people nowadays, all they do is just get on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, 
or anything. And if they have a problem with what's going on, they'll just spam their social medias with all their problems, everything that's happening. And honestly, like you might have two or three people that, that kind of care, but we really just don't care. You know, if you have a problem with someone, go to that person and take it up with them. You know, no one's really trying to read all your problems out on social media. That, that's just how I look at it. You know what I mean? Because nowadays, like I said, everyone's just into that, uh, that keyboard warrior type type vibe, you know, and they'll just cap locks it and be like, nah, you can't fuck with me, you know, blah, 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 and just going ham on the, on the keyboard, but, you know, the instant you see each other in person, they're like, hey, man, yo, what's going on, we good, we good, you know, or they just, they don't even make eye contact with you, it, it's either or, like, I, I just think that, that fucking shit's hilarious, you know, if you got a problem with something or someone, take it up with them. You know, don't just go online because that that's not solving anything. It is really not. It's just starting drama. <laughs> listen, uh, and with Twitter dissing, uh, you gon' have to speak up when you talk. I'm here to listen, uh, If you popping shit, you probably wishing I'm religious, huh? This collision finna get you feeling hella Christian. Look, you gon' need that. In hold up, hold up. It's gonna make you feel hella Christian, bro. I'm I'm a little confused on that part. Um, maybe just like either beating the shit out of them or scaring the piss out of them until they run to God, you know, maybe, maybe that's the only, the only thing I can really think of, because how are you going to beat someone so much that they're, <laughs> oh man, I, I, huh, huh, I don't know, that, that part's a little confusing to me, but I kind of see where she's going with it, you know what I mean? Now listen, huh, if you popping shit, you probably wishing I'm religious, huh, this collision finna get you feeling hella Christian, look, you gon' need that energy you got when you stand to me, all the caps locking when you talking on the net to me, Right there, right there, exactly what she just said, you know, she's like, you're gonna need all that energy, you know, the same type of energy that you were using when you meet me in person that you were using while you were using those cap locks on the internet, you know, and sending all that bullshit to me. I want to see the same type of energy when we see each other in person. This is exactly what I was just talking about, you know, they're not gonna have the same energy, but... <laughs> I like it. You stand to me, all the caps are locking when you talking on the net to me. Wish a bitch would yell at me. Fuck a bitch's jealousy. May not be your cup of tea, but I'm your boyfriend's fantasy, and we can get petty. Yo, I'm sorry for pausing it so much right there, but that that was clean. She's like, I may not be your cup of tea, but I'm your boyfriend's Hennessy. Like, yeah, you might not like me, but I'm exactly what your boyfriend wants. You know, and that that's Oof, oof, that's rough. That's rough. That is rough. I'm definitely liking this, though. I'm definitely liking this. You know, it's just her take on what I'm guessing, just all the petty drama and all the, you know, small shit that goes around. People try and start with her, you know? And she just made one song and was like, nah, this is for all you little petty bitches trying to come at me, you know? I don't know, I'm digging it. I'm your boyfriend's fantasy and we can get petty. Tell me if you're ready. I was playing nice. Commenting on me and my win all you bitches really ain't got no pots to piss and couldn't get a thousand dollars if you and your three ho ass friends go put your savings in a pot. You fucking thoughts is that you're judging bitches like us cause you forgot that I don't got time, but I'll make time if it means dragging a little bitch. I'm tired of all you fucking hoes, y'all starting problems. Think you slick, I'm about to drag you by the fucking edges. Both of us ain't got this quite ironic, stale, bland ass bitches. So when salt, you about to get your seat. Oof. <laughs> so she's basically like, you know kind of along the same lines of, you know, the first verse, but she's like, why is it the people who can't even stand in a circle with their, you know, two best friends and the three of them can't even throw their life savings in a pot and it, it, it won't even make a thousand dollars? Why is it those type of people that are, you know, trying to start shit with her? She's like, it just doesn't make sense that they're wasting their time when they could be making money but instead, they're just trying to get some clout, get some type shit from, you know, her and anybody else who, you know, they're going after. And I do like how, you know, she was also like, you always target the people that don't really have time, you know, that don't have time to focus on you little petty bitches. But 
you, you know, she was like, but I'll make some time. I'll make some time if, if it means, you know, dragging a bitch through the mud and uh, making it known that I don't fuck around. You know, that's kind of exactly what she was saying right there. And also how she was like, you know, it's always the, you know, the stale, bland-ass bitches throwing salt. I, I, th I think that's pretty funny, um, you know, because salt adds flavor and they're stale, bland. They don't have flavor. They, they're just basic-ass bitches. And, you know, she just thinks it's hilarious that those are the types of people always trying to start shit. You know, but I just like how she threw that into the bar right there. Um, but no, like I said, this is... This is definitely dope, and she's just done with all the petty ass bitches. Chronic stale, bland ass bitches throwing salt. You about to get your season. We about to make this even. You talking shit about me? You about to get your reason? Cause I, I like that. She said, "You stale, bland ass bitches throwing salt. You about to get your season." So she even added more onto that. You know, she's like, "You about to get your season because you always trying to add flavor, add add shit to you know." Well, I'm about to show you. You know, I'm about to. I'm about to season your ass, she said. So I think that was pretty slick. Uh, that's kind of all I wanted to say right there. You know, I didn't know she was going to add on to that. I think that was pretty dope. Like I said, I liked it for the bar just because of the stale bland and then salt. But then her adding the season in there, like, that just made it a whole lot better. Talking shit about me, you about to get your reason. Because I've been on my vibe and how your grandma meditating shit. But if you want, bitch, I could put this fucking hair up on my shit. We can get petty. Tell me if you're ready. Yeah. I was playing nice. We can change the setting. Hold up. She said she was on her vibe hire type shit, but if a bitch wants, she can get on her put her hair up type shit, which means obviously she's getting ready to fight. Is that is that what she was saying though? And the vibe hire part is everyone was telling me, you know, that's like kind of her label that she created and put a few artists on. So that's kind of her just saying, you know, she's trying to focus on her career, focus on her future. But if you really want to, and you really think it's worth it, she will get down and dirty with you, but she'll show you that she'll fuck you up. I don't know, I, I think that's just keeping it real, you know? She's like, I am really, you know, about my career, about my future, but if you want to fuck with me, I will give you the time and I will fuck you up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ready, yeah, I was playing nice. We can change the set, uh, we can get petty. petty. Uh, uh, we can get petty, petty. yeah, uh, we can get petty. Tell me if you're ready. Uh, I was playing nice. We can change the setting. Uh, we can get petty. Uh, uh, we can get petty. Yeah. Uh, we can get petty. Tell me if you're ready. Yeah. I was playing nice. We can change the setting. Uh, we can get petty. Uh, uh, we can get petty. Yeah. Uh, we can get petty. Tell me if you're ready. Uh, I was playing nice. We can change the setting. Uh, we can get petty. Uh, uh, we can get petty. Yeah. that's done um but no i i know it was just for the music video but uh they went from they went from like fighting to just playing in the mud <laughs> I, I don't know that was kind of you know they could have they could have kept the the fight scene going on but at the end there you could just tell that they were just like playing in the mud it was it it, it stopped all the fighting and they were just having fun in the mud that was all that was <laughs> but um no i definitely understand what she was doing with the video here um and how she was trying to incorporate it into the you know into the song um it was definitely dope you know the meaning behind it was just about you know trying to tell basically petty bitches that she's not trying to waste any time on you and you know She's not going to unless you threaten her pockets and then she's all about it and she'll show you what's up. You know what I mean? That That's kind of what I'm getting from this. I think it was more of a, a catchy type song than more of one of her meaningful ones. Um, like I said, it did have meaning in it, but it wasn't her full potential in meaning that I've heard at least. Um, I know she can do a lot better with the meaning, with meaning in her songs. Um, but like I said, it was more of a catchy type vibe type song. So, you know, that's probably why she didn't go with, you know, a shit ton of meaning in this. Um, but it was still dope as fuck. There's no doubt about that. But with all that being said, that is going to be the reaction to Petty by Snow the Product. Now, if I had to rate it for meaning, I'm going to give the meaning a... I'm going to be weird, and I'm going to give the, the meaning an 18. Um, and that's only because, like I said, it, it did have meaning. There's no doubt about that. 
but it wasn't her full potential of meaning. But it still was, you know, one of the meanings that I love a song to have, you know, and it's basically just showing how real they are, you know, and what they'll do to protect basically their brand, their future, you know what I mean? But also how they won't do it over the internet and they're not keyboard keyboard warriors like the rest of the people. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know, I just think that's dope as fuck. Um the bars, I'm gonna give the bars a twenty five. I did like a lot of the bars in this. She's definitely real slick with her bars. Um if I'm gonna be honest, I kinda was expecting a little bit of Spanish in this after like the first verse. I was like, oh yeah, she's gonna throw some Spanish in here. But uh I, I didn't hear any, so I I was I was I was a little disappointed in that. Um but obviously I can't make her songs, you know. Um but no, I, like like I said like I was saying, her her bar, she's she's very slick with them. In this one, I want to say I felt they were more punchlines than anything. Um punchlines and one-liners, you know what I mean? Um but it was definitely dope or else I wouldn't have stopped it that much, you know. I I fucking it was like pause and then I heard another thing. I was like, fuck Another thing, I was like, shit, this is all right. You know, it, it was definitely dope. Um, enjoyability, I'm definitely going to give that a 15. I liked basically everything about this. Like I said, the only thing that I feel could have been better was, you know, the meaning added towards it. But like I said, it was a catchy type vibe song, so it wasn't really, she probably didn't mean for a lot of meaning to go into here. Um, delivery, 25. And beat choice is definitely a 10. With all that being said, that is going to be a 9.3. Ooh, I fucked up on that three. But that is going to be a 9.3. And honestly, I feel like it definitely deserves that. The only thing, like I said, it could have had just a little bit more meaning, you know, to it. Um, and it would have been definitely a straight up 10. A little bit of Spanish in there too because I don't know I just whenever she spits Spanish it just sounds so fire you know it, it's just it's different you know and I, I'm not really used to that type of shit so it just sounds dope as fuck to me I'm not even gonna lie um but no it definitely had potential to be a 10 there's no doubt about that but like I said I'm pretty sure she was going with more catchy type vibe type song here but with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate all the feedback and all the support. It really means a lot. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that sub button. It would really help me out. We are doing a giveaway at 1,000 subs. All you need to do is just hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, and comment your Twitter handle in any of the videos that I post. So that way I do know you did both steps. I will have more details on it later. Please hit that notification bell to see when I upload. I try to upload at least five times a week. I hope you all have a great day slash night. Much love and peace out.